Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome to this video, all my friends. And if you're not a friend yet, don't worry. There's there's an easy fix to this. Go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. If you are here, I have a pretty good idea why you're here, why you clicked on this video in the first place. <laughs> mm. We have the Warrior 2 palette, which was recently released by Juvia's Place. And in this palette, we have nine stunning, gorgeous, brand new shades, people. And all the shades are matte shades. Now this palette, this is a solid, this is a solid palette. This palette came out and was like, boom baby, I am playing no games. So if you guys are interested in seeing how to create this look and to learn a little bit more about this palette, just to know if this palette is for you, I will be going over packaging, pricing, quality, everything that you need to know before you get your hands on this palette. So without further ado, let the games begin and let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I've already done one eye off camera. So it's time to zoom into this other eye so we can get started with all the details. We're gonna start things off with the shade Zama. I'm going to place the shade Zama right in my crease region. This is what we're gonna be using as our transition today. And I'm slightly gonna wing the shade out. The second shade we'll be taking is called Jamata. I'm gonna pack Jamata right on my outer edge right here and then I'm slowly gonna blend it into my crease to meet my transition shade. I'm going to blend Jamata all the way to my inner corner right below my transition shade so they're gonna meet and we're gonna have a seamless blend right in the center. Taking the same shade Jamata, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this on my lower lash line. We're gonna connect the top and the bottom right here. We're not gonna neglect the space. And we're just gonna blend this shade out down here. So I'll be mixing the shade Kufuru and Walzana. I'm going to go ahead and place these shades right in my crease to go ahead and create some depth right here. And we're gonna wing things out for that winged shape. Now I'll be taking my long wear pencil eyeliner from Sigma in the shade Wicked and I'm gonna run this along my waterline and my lower lash line. I'll be taking the shade Walzana. Taking the shade Walzana, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out that eyeliner that we just placed down for a smoky effect. To go ahead and cut my crease, I am taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Natural. From this point, I'm just gonna take whatever left over product is on this brush and feather it out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush to further blend out this concealer. Taking the shade Walzana, I'm just gonna go ahead and feather this out from my bottom lash line to already kind of start creating that shape. I'm going to pack Walzana on my top lash line, meeting the bottom right here in this corner. I'm also packing Walzana in my inner corner close to my lash line as well. Taking the shade Jamata. We are packing Jamata right next to Walzana and a little bit above. I'm also just doing the same thing on my inner corner with the shade Jamata. We're gonna take the shade Dayura. I'm going to place the shade Dayura right next to Jamata, almost closing out the center. Last but not least, we'll be taking the shade Zaz. I'm going to go ahead and place Zaz right in the middle. And we're gonna blend this one out. I'll be taking the shade Shawata. With the shade Shawata, I'm just gonna be creating an eyeliner effect, keeping it really tight to my lash line on the top. I'm also gonna drag this black shade out, Shawata, for that winged eyeshadow effect that we are trying to achieve. Then we're just gonna go ahead and blend this out on the end. All right, you guys, so we're pretty much done with the eyes for today, so I'm gonna do my mascara and lashes off camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of these things and we will be right back. So we're back with the lashes on and for today's lashes, I did use the Lena Lashes in style 3-4. Um, this is like, this is my kind of lash. Like I'm, I'm obsessed with these lashes. Anywho, it is definitely time to move on with the rest of our face. I'm gonna try and stay in this palette as much as I can. So for bronzing today, we are staying in the Warrior 2 palette by Juvia's Place. And for bronzing, I'm gonna take the shade 
Kufuru. I feel like I feel like that would be like a good shade to bronze with. You know, like I feel like this might have me. This might have me. See, like, like that works. That works. I love that. Oh, that's yeah. That's actually like really spectacular. <laughs> yes, yes, honey. Oh my gosh. It's just like the shade I've been needing my entire life. This is such a great bronzing shade. Yes, yes. I mean, for like this shade could also be used to contour for some people, just depending on your complexion, you know. To contour, hmm. Uh, I'm not taking any of these shades to contour, so that's that. We're not contouring with that. I will be taking the um, True Complexion Contour Palette from Black Radiance, and this is their medium to this is the medium to dark palette, and I'll be taking the contour shade out of here. To go ahead and add some color back into my face, we're going back to the Warrior Two palette, and I really feel like. I want to take the shade Zama. Yeah, I feel like Zama is going to be like a good blush shade. Or even, even Jamada. You know, I think I'm going to take, we're taking, we're taking Zama. That's exactly what I needed for my, see this, this now is like turning into like a face palette. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, Juvia's Place. I actually really like that as a blush. She's looking real cute. That looks really actually fantastic. Oh, how exciting. So for highlight today, I am switching things up. Um, well, obviously the palette that I'm using today is all mattes and I'm not really going for a matte highlight today because you know, we like to be semi-blinding. I will be taking the Morphe 8S palette and this came out for their holiday collection. I am taking the shade Mirage because I think it's like my favorite shade in here. It's just like that, ladies and gentlemen, hello. This is looking so nice. I'm totally gonna take this highlighting shade and pop it in my inner corners because I just feel like <laughs> something was like incomplete about this like eye look and I feel like it's because I didn't use like a highlight and it makes such a difference. Like look, I don't know, it just like opens up the eyes even more so. And I like, I like that. So now it's definitely time to move on to lips and for lips today I'm doing like a little mixture because like I can't stick to one lip product ever like you guys know me So I'll be taking a lip product from Carity Cosmetics and this is in the shade Tick Tick Boom And then from Colourpop I'll be taking their lipstick in the shade Hey Mr. DJ And I'm gonna put that in the middle for like an ombre effect, okay? Okay, so like I'm not mad about this red shade that we have going on, but I like, like I feel like that just, that just added so much dimension to the lip. It just makes my lips look really full, you know? Fuller, I should say. It makes them look very pouty. Yeah, that looks great. To set the face, I will be taking the Redo from Beauty Blender. Um, this is, you know, to set your makeup, to refresh the face. It's got multiple uses. You gotta shake it up. And I really like this stuff because it's like a, like, it really like mists the stuff. Like it's not spitting the setting spray out. It's like a mist. I love this. I like, I could mist forever. Are you guys ready for all the tea on the Warrior 2 palette by Juvia's Place? Because I'm about to dish everything that you need to know. And the first thing we're gonna start off with is the packaging. So this is the Warrior 2 palette that was recently released by Juvia's Place. And um, we have a matte finish. We've got a beautiful African print design that we have always with Juvia's Place. Um, on the back of the palette, there is a small description along with the ingredients of the eyeshadows on the palette, which I think is a very nice touch to have so you know what you're using, what is in your products. Moving to the inside of the palette, we have a nice print on the inside upper leaf of the palette. And then we have the gorgeous shades. Right? So this packaging is a matte finish, so you know it's gonna be like a little harder to keep clean, especially because it is a lighter color, but what matters is on the inside of the palette, right? Okay, am I right? 
So, on the inside of the palette, we have nine brand new shades. Gotta say, I'm quite happy with the selection. I am quite happy with the selection. This is an all matte palette for those of you that did not know that. All of these shades are matte. Now when it comes to matte shades, sometimes there can be an issue with it being too chalky and it just like not blending out well and there, matte shades can be problematic sometimes but not these mattes. When I was using these shades, I found that these shades were very buttery, they were very easy to blend, I didn't have a lot of fallout, but you know when you're doing your makeup you should always tap off the excess, you know, to minimize your fallout situation. Like the, the shadows worked really well. It was like a normal amount of kickbacks, like what you would expect when you dip your brush into a powder product like this was good. They worked very well. Now, we do have our staple oversized pants, which is what Judy's Place is known for, which, you know, like, I love. I have to say, when it comes to the eyeshadows as well, I'm very happy with their color selection for all of the matte shades. I am so happy that they have a black. I'm just like, yes! And there's so many shades in here that I feel like are going to be great everyday shades, they're going to be great transition shades, it's great for a smoky eye. I feel like this palette is so versatile and I feel like so many people can you know, like use this. Like This is a relatable lifestyle palette, like anyone, anyone can use this. And I think this is going to be a great addition to anyone's collection. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the pricing, of course, because I know everybody's got a budget and you know sometimes with all these releases it's hard to stick to your budget. This palette is definitely not going to break your bank. Full price, this palette retails at $20. Now, depending on your shipping situation, the shipping price can range from $4.66 for three day shipping, or for five dollars and zero cents for five to seven days standard shipping. Yes, I was a little confused at that as well, but the three day shipping is cheaper than your standard shipping, so it's a win-win situation. At the moment now, they do have a sale, so it is retailing for $16, so you know, if if you've been thinking about it, now is a good time to go purchase because it is on sale. But when it's not on sale, there are discount codes that you guys need to be using to save your coin. Like, um, I use Trend Mood when I'm checking out and it saves me 10% and I urge everyone to find a discount code before fully purchasing. It's gonna save you. Um, I totally think that this palette is worth the money. I mean depend whether it doesn't matter if you're a person who loves neutrals or if you like color i feel like this is a good staple to have you have nice transition shades you have um transition shades that have like a little bit of color like a, that rusty red um this jamata shade which i am obsessed with um then you have your black if you want to like smoke things up and turn it into a night look or like a smoky eye i just feel like this is going to be a very versatile palette and something that i'm very happy to have to my collection if i was to recommend like a good starter palette to anyone it would probably be this one because it's not scary you know like there's no like bright colors where you're like oh i don't know if i can rock that like it's like this is a good palette this is a good one. Um, there is no fragrance to this palette. I know some people like are weird or funky when it comes to like fragranced things, but these eyeshadows are not fragranced. I actually don't think any of their palettes are fragranced. So yeah, so all in all, I do think that Jovia's Place did a really great job with this palette. I feel like Jovia's Place, this is the palette that I've been waiting for. This is the palette that I've been waiting for. Yes, your girl loves color, but look what I was able to achieve. Yeah, she likes to be extra. Look what I was able to achieve with a neutral palette. All mattes. All mattes. Ain't no shimmers on this one. Like, yes, Juvit's Place, you did that once again. <sighs> I'm ready for you to continue taking my coin. Continue taking my money. <laughs> Take it all from me. <sighs> Guys, we've come to that point in the video where it's like, is the end, you know? And I just want to thank you guys so much for joining me on today's video. If you enjoyed today's review slash tutorial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to drop some comments down below. Let's have a little conversation. And you can also share this video. To all of my returning friends, uh, thank you so much for joining me again. Go ahead and click that bell button so you are notified every single time I upload a new video. And if you're not a friend yet, ah! Oh, I'm low-key slightly offended and my feelings are hurting, but easy fix. Go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. 
For those of you that want to see me everywhere, I am on Snapchat, Instagram, and I'm also on the Twitter. Everything will be linked down below in my description box, along with all of the products I used in today's video. I got you guys. I'm only looking out for you guys. I got you. I got, don't worry, I got you. But that is all that I have for you guys today. I will see you beautiful, amazing, stunning creatures in my next video, you beautiful humans. But before we go, you know, I gotta do this little thing right here. Um, I'm gonna leave some videos here for you guys. I'll most likely leave some other Juvia's Place palette reviews here because I have many on my channel. I've got plenty. Um, yeah, so grab everything that you need. It's time to YouTube and chill. Get your snacks, get your blanket, get comfortable, and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye, you guys.